for using Microsoft Dependency Injection, we need to register our services. And there are three types of service lifetimes, transient, scoped, and singleton. I will talk about each of them in this video. So let's get started. Let me walk you through the project. It is a .NET Web API project and I'm using minimal APIs. This is I, my service, which have a single property, which is instance ID of type GUID and it is a read only property. We have a class, my service, which is implementing the interface I, my service. In the constructor, we are assigning the instance ID with GUID.NewGUID. We are also logging the value of instance ID so that we get notified whenever the instance of my service is created. We also have a middleware where we are getting the instance of iMyService from the DI container. And here also we are logging the value of instance ID so that we get notified when the code block in the middleware is executed. Now we also have a endpoint and in this endpoint we are using two instances in this endpoint first through the constructor injection and second through the service provider and we are logging the instance id for both of the services so let's register our services with at transient let's run the project also let's go to this http file and here we are going to hit this test endpoint now let's move to the console and here you can see here you can see the logged values service created with instance id this and this instance is created in the middleware so its value is this one then the instance of imi service created again in the endpoint whose instance is this one and it is created once again in the endpoint whose instance is this so our i my service is getting instantiated three times in a single http request once in the middleware and twice in the endpoint because we are requesting for i my service three times in our application first time in middleware then two times in the endpoint and each and every time the instance of IMI service is being created. Now let's change it to add scoped. Let's hit this endpoint and let's check our console. So as you have noticed, the instance is created only once for this HTTP request and the instance ID is this one and this instance id is shared in the middleware and in the endpoint let's hit this endpoint again and let's see this log and here you can see the again instance id is created and this instance id is shared among middleware and endpoint now let's change it to add singleton now let's hit this endpoint the instance of service is created and shared among middleware and the endpoint. Now let's hit it again. And you can notice that no instance is created now. Instance is created only once here and this instance is shared throughout the application. Let's check it once again. And you can see our instance is created once per application and shared among the whole application so at transient says i will create instance every time the app singleton says i will create instance once per scope and in the context of web apis the scope is equivalent to the http request so the instance is created once per http request and at singleton says i will create instance of service once per application lifetime and this instance is shared for the whole application lifetime so that's it for now if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button make sure to subscribe this channel to get more videos like this see you next time